in this morning's Health Watch, what to do when your child gets sick. We have our Dr. Jennifer Ashton on the line. She's home with one of her sick ones. Good morning, Jen. How is Miss Chloe doing? Hi, Mag. She's not feeling too great. You know the drill. It's horrible. Yeah. What, what are does the she symptoms? Have? Yeah. Well, she started having a vomiting and diarrhea at about one or two o'clock in the morning, and it's just been, you know, every five minutes we're in the bathroom, so it hasn't been a good oh. night for us. Oh. This happens to so many of us. What should we do if, if, if your child starts vomiting? I, the most important thing from a medical standpoint is to resist the urge to give them anything by mouth after they've thrown up. So frequently children will ask for ginger ale or, or juice. That just irritates the stomach more. So it's really nothing to eat or drink for several hours. Um, after they vomited or had diarrhea last. And then when they do start eating, usually in the hospital we follow something called a bratty diet, which just is an abbreviation for bread, rice, apple, and toast. Really bland, very little bit. You don't want to overstimulate the stomach. So I'm looking at this, so, but there are no liquids, and sometimes you're afraid of dehydration, right? Yeah, especially with little babies or toddlers. So that's where things like Pedialyte can be mm, very helpful. But again, stuff. you know, really minimal stuff for a couple of hours until they, they've been quiet. So you have to worry about your son, her brother, Alex, uh, you and Rob. How do you keep the others in the family from getting sick? The biggest thing is you have to sanitize absolutely everything. These GI viruses are highly contagious, so hand sanitizer in the bathroom, wash all the bedding and towels, anything that's come into contact with it, and obviously try to minimize contact with that child. So I'm really the only one dealing with her right now. And the most important thing, if you have the possibility to do so, don't go to work for 24 hours. Luckily, I'm fortunate. Our boss let okay. me stay home. All you're doing is contaminating others. And you know what? I always say there are people who can do your job at work. No one can do your job at home. Oh, well <laughs> Thanks, done. Jen.